Hello, my name is Gemma Grundon. I've been a practicing artist for quite a few years now, ever since I left university. I was lucky enough to get a studio as soon as I left, and I've been painting ever since. I'm a contemporary landscape painter primarily. I deal with oil paintings and quite large oil paintings. Uh, one of them behind me is called Pondering Questions Worthy of Thought. It's a purposefully thoughtful and contemplative title uh, because I like my paintings to be quite thoughtful, um, quite evocative of memory and quite sort of spacious landscapes to stare into. They're not representational of anywhere in particular, but they are inspired by places that I've visited and places I've photographed and drawn also. Um, I like to create works that really make you think and um, I also like to create works that make me think as well. They are paintings that are quite reflective on my past perhaps, but also have a kind of optimistic and thoughtful um, look into my future perhaps. I think that's why they often have paths in them. Um, it's something that I kind of see as a path through life, if you like. It's a bit of a, a metaphor that has linked my work for many years now, this sense of kind of travelling through a landscape. Um, and I kind of think, subconsciously that links through to how I'm progressing through life and, uh, and that sort of feeling of going somewhere but not quite sure where you're going to. So yeah, I think I, I try to recreate that in my work and that hopefully shows through and, and hopefully um, sort of links to other people's thoughts as well. Um, I tend to deal with hopefully quite sublime colours. I like to use colours that are quite dark and, and brooding almost. Um, sometimes they're quite eerie and also quite almost scary colours I would call them. Um, they're not always happy colours, they're not always bright and tranquil colours, but I tend to use colour to signify moods in the painting, so they are often quite dark and, and brooding. Uh, some of the lighter aspects of my paintings are quite light. Um, that is where light is quite important in my work, so I use the light in the distance of the painting to really draw the viewer in and hopefully make that sort of optimistic point of view uh, through the landscape as well. So, uh, yeah, colour is very important to my work and I try to stick to colours that sort of evoke a feeling or, or a memory as well. Okay. Um, an artist that always inspires me is Turner for his use of light and colour. I never get bored of looking at his work and I always spend a long time studying his work. Um, more current artists would be Gerhard Richter for very similar reasons. I love his use of colour and use of light. Both those artists sort of reintroduce the landscape in different ways, and so I admire both of them for, for similar reasons. Um, I mean, I think investing in foreign art is a brilliant thing to do. I think I would do much more of it if I were a millionaire artist than an artist myself. Um, I think that it's really important to purchase people who are up and coming because it's the people who buy the work at art fairs and local little galleries that really keep. Um, artists going and particularly when you leave uni you really need to be supported by the local art community and people buying affordable art so I think it's a brilliant investment and also it keeps the art, move, the art world moving I think at sort of grassroots level. So.